All right, this may sound like a strange question, but is your liver happy? Would you know it if it wasn't? Unfortunately, probably not. Liver disease is a worldwide epidemic, and for most who have it, don't even know it until it's too late. Dr. Denise Warden is Repower Medical Clinic and has dedicated her career to research and liver health. Welcome to Sonoran Living, Dr. Thank Warden. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here, Terry. Okay, so what did you find in this research? You know, it was really by accident. Um, I was looking, I had a device in my clinic called a fibro scan that lets you, it's an ultra sheer wave ultra sound it lets you look at liver health to see if it's fatty to see if it's stiff it's cirrhosis and i said let me just check my patients they had no liver enzymes that were elevated on blood work and i thought well if it's an epidemic let me look shocked at what i found really yes so that's what's so scary is yeah. that you don't know that there's a problem that's right and this is type of uh, do we call it a disease a liver disease because it's it is liver disease okay so it's not and it's not from from um alcoholism which is cirrhosis correct mm -hmm. the fatty liver is the one that you don't you just don't know you have. Well, is it hereditary? Close. It was all of those pieces okay. are correct. So you can have fatty liver that can be caused by many different things, obesity, diabetes, those all play into that, but some piece of genetic. But the fatty liver, if it continues to go, gets um, inflamed. Mm. Now we've got another liver disease. And if it oh. keeps going, now it's stiff, now it's fibrosis, then it goes to cirrhosis. We know alcohol causes cirrhosis. However, there are other things that cause cirrhosis, viruses, uh, arsenic in our water. There are so many causes nowadays wow. that we just don't even know. So wow. I had young, thin patients, no reason for me to think that they would have had a problem with their liver, and they did. Okay, and here is the problem. Then you don't know you have it. It continues to worsen. The only alternative is a liver transplant. It's at, at that point eventually, right? At some point, and many of these cases, I'll say a big percentage of the cases at that end stage turn to liver cancer. That's frightening. All right, I want to look at some numbers here sure. and you have to kind of kind of explain to us what yep. we're looking at here. Right. And this is part of your research and what happens because what you've created or what you found mm -hmm. is is an alternative that is going to help cure people. I'm going to use the word. I just threw it out there. I can't there. say that word, okay. but you can. Okay. Yes. What are we looking but at? But what I can show you, this is a male patient had again at no abnormal labs, no reason healthy, athletic he, right there on that, that number on the left, 279, mm -hmm. that is a fatty liver, a significant fatty liver. And on the right, that 8.9, that was showing that he had a very stiff fibrotic, if not cirrhosis in his liver. One injection, this is what we got. 181 is a normal amount of fatty liver. That's a normal liver. Mm -hmm. 3.5, almost back down into, in fact, from three to four is a normal cirrhosis or, or stiff liver. So he so went, he went to normal. Extremely high to exactly. normal Exactly, in one injection. Okay, and this is what <laughs> we're talking about today. This is a, a, a natural injection yes. that you do. And, and so far you found that it, it's one injection and... For Your some numbers. patients, one injection, and I will say for most, one injection actually takes them from severe into less severe. And how long does it take to get them to normal? Everyone's a little different. I don't have enough data yet, but I can tell you out of 35, 40 patients that I did this on, there wasn't a patient that didn't get better. That last slide that went by quickly, I just say, it was autoimmune hepatitis on her way at some point to a liver transplant in four injections, she not only, there it is, she not only went from cirrhosis, which we know what it was from as the autoimmune, right. into a normal level, level. Her liver enzymes went from the 200s down into the 20s, which is where they're supposed to be, wow. and she lost weight. She came to me with a full body rash. She said, Couldn't she didn't come out. to me for her liver. That's she crazy. had a full body rash that nobody could figure out, and I said, okay, liver, works with your digestion, your toxins. We need to look at your liver. Very quickly, side effects. Yes. No known side effects with these homeopathic injections. Okay. They're called HEPAR is the name of the injection. Okay. There's no known side effects. There's no contraindications, no matter what medications people are on. So it was a safe way for me to look. Repower Medical Clinic. That's where you will find Dr. Ward. She has two locations for you to choose from. One in Scottsdale, one in Gilbert. 480-588-2233. Learn more on her website, drwarden.com.